that it won't look so uh, plain. So if you go back up under floor plans and then double click site plan, this is where we're going to be working. Um, now the first thing you want to do is choose one of these uh, four properties. I'll zoom out um, either this one of these three properties or this fourth property down here um, as one of your building sites. I'm going to choose this 2200 Old Henderson. It's the largest site and it'll allow me to to have enough room for a driveway and, and those things. Um, so I'm going to choose this site to work on. And the first thing I want you to do um, is probably save your um, site plan on your Z drive. Now when I click Save As, I'm going to be saving it to my Google Drive, but you all don't have this option. So if you will uh, navigate to your computer and under this PC, you should find your Z drive. So save it onto your Z drive, and that way it, it won't get lost. I'm going to navigate to my Google Drive and save it there so that I'll have it. And I'm probably going to rename this. Um, I'm probably going to rename this instead of 2204 Old Henderson Site. I'm probably going to name it um, Habitat Site or something like that. But whatever you want to name it is fine. So I'm going to save that. Now, after we've gotten it saved, the next thing I want you to do is add your setback lines. Um, that way you'll kind of know where to place your house. And remember, setback lines are how far back from the road you have to be for your house, and then also how far from each property line. Remember we said you need to be 25 feet back from the road and 10 feet back from the other property lines. So the first thing I need to do is create a setback line. So if you click up here and you click Manage, and then under Additional Settings, if you'll click Line Styles, you can add a new line. And I'm going to create a line that's called Setback Line. So I'll click OK. And then it comes in as a black line. I'm going to change it to red. And then instead of it being solid, I'm going to make it dashed. So that'll help me. And then once you've got that, I hit Apply and then just click OK. Now that you've created that line, under Annotate, you're actually going to um, draw that line. So under Annotate, click Detail Line. And then over here, you can choose Setback Line. Now we may actually have to redo that in a second because I'm going to use this Offset tool to help me create these lines and it'll be a lot easier. So if I click Offset, I'm going to offset um, this line right here. Now it defaults to one foot. Now since this property line is on the road, I need it to offset 25 foot. So I'm going to change that to 25. And then you can see it's offsetting. Now notice if I'm on the inside of the line, I don't know if you can see this light blue line that it's creating. But if I happen to drag up on the outside of the line, it's going to offset it on the other side of the road. So make sure you're on the inside of that line so it'll set it back 25 feet into the property. So I'll click that. And then I'm also going to do that from this road and from Benton Avenue. So I'll click that. So we've created another line here. Now I'm going to change this to 10 feet and do it from our property lines. So I'll do 10 feet from this property line and see how that's going the wrong way. I need to go to the inside and then click that. Um, so I've done that. Make sure that it's had copy checked when you were doing that. Um, now that I've done the lines, I'm going to hit escape a couple times to get out of the offset um, offset tool 